Hello friends, this video on p-block elements part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So oxoacids or phosphorus, they are the acid which has, they are first acid and it has both oxygen and hydrogen. See in this case, all these cases you will say phosphorus is tetrahedrally surrounded, tetrahedrally surrounded. by other atoms right so it will have PO and at least one POH bond that is my oxo acids so some of the oxo acids are my hypophosphorus acid my orthophosphorus acids pyrophosphorus acid hypophosphoric acid orthophosphoric acid pyrophosphoric acid and metaphosphoric acid these are my common oxo acids of phosphorus the first the first one is hypophosphorus acid that is nothing but H3PO2. So in this case the oxidation state, sorry H3PO2, the oxidation state is plus 1 for phosphorus. Hypophosphorus acid or also called phosphinic acid. To prepare this, if you want to prepare this, what you can do is you can take this phosphorus and you can take uh, any alkaline, any alkaline. And you can take some water molecule, water here. You get H two PO two minus and pH three. Okay. Now the property, if you want, this is a colorless solid. This is colorless solid. Melting point is. Uh, almost 403 Kelvin and the strong reducing agent this is a strong reducing agent this is both alcohol and water soluble why water soluble you see there will be hydrogen bond here this is monoprotein this is monoprotein okay see this is the structure H3 PO2. See, there's a P double bond O and POH bond O. Okay. The next one is orthophosphorus acid. The formula is H3 PO3. Here, oxidation state will be plus 3 for phosphorus. Also called phosphonic acid. So, to prepare, you take P2O3, react with water, you form. S3PO3. It's a diprotic. If you see, there are two OH. It's a diprotic. The earlier one was monoprotic, only one OH. It is a colorless solid again. It's a colorless solid. And the melting point is uh, here is almost 346 Kelvin. It's again a strong reducing agent. Strong reducing agent. Now, if you see this plus 3 for phosphorus is not stable, it's the intermediate oxidation state, so it will disproportionate. So, if I have H3PO3, it will form H3PO4 and pH3. So, in this case, if you see this had oxidation of plus 3 and this becomes uh, plus 5, and this is plus 3. So this is disproportionate actually. Okay. And let's see one thing. Uh, if you talk about the reducing capacity, this reducing capacity directly depends on the number of pH bond. More is the number of pH bond, more is the number of pH bond, the more is the reducing capacity of this acid. If you see this pH bond is non-ionizable, it doesn't break into H plus and this minus, it doesn't break, right? So it doesn't play any role in basicity, but it helps in making its more powerful reducing agent. So the more the number of pH bond, the more is the reducing capacity for all the oxo acids. The next is pyrophosphorus acid. 
So pyrophosphorus acid, the formula is H4P2O5. And this oxidation number of phosphorus will be plus 3. This is the structure H4P2O5. Okay. And to prepare this, you take PCl3, you react with H3PO3 to get H4. That's how you get it. And this is the structure of pyrophosphorus acid. The next is hypophosphoric acid. The formula is H4P2O6. Oxidation amount will be 12 minus 4 8 by 2 plus 4. Yeah. And to prepare this, we take red phosphorus and take some alkali. You do the reaction and you get. This is the structure of hypophosphoric acid. Similarly, we have pyrophosphoric acid. Pyrophosphoric acid is H4P2O7. O7. So in this case, the oxidation number of phosphorus will be 14 minus 4, 10 by 2, 5, plus 5. So if you see in this case, it is tetraprotic, 1, 2, 3, 4, tetraprotic acid. This is again white solid, solid white. To form this, what you can do is you can take H3PO4, you can heat this at 520 Kelvin, you get H4P2O7 and some water molecule. This is tetraprotic. See, since it has 4 OH, it is tetraprotic. So if you want to know what is the protic level, you have to actually draw the structure. Okay. The next is orthophosphoric acid that is H3PO4. Here oxidation state of phosphorus is plus 5. 4 into 2, 8, 8 minus 3, 5. Yeah, plus 5. Also called phosphoric acid. This is triprotein. 1, 2, 3, 3 OH. Triprotein. This is again white crystalline solid, very important uh, phosphoric acid or very popular. This is white crystalline solid phosphoric acid and this is used uh, for food additive dental fertilizers home cleaning products all this it is used to prepare this you take p4o10 which we have studied mix with some water you get some h3po4 you can also take my proper phosphorus react with nitric acid in presence of some water you get h3 PO4 plus NO and NO2. Want to write the balance reaction? This is 10, this is 4, this is 5, this is 4. Then we have meta phosphoric acid. Meta phosphoric acid is nothing but HPO3. HPO3. You see? This is HPO3 and there are n number of HPO3 attached and there is OH and H here. That is why meta phosphoric acid. The first question is how do you account the reducing behavior of H3PO2 on the basis of its structure? So we have told that reducing behavior based on the pH bond, number of pH bond, more the number of pH bond, more in the reducing capacity. If you draw H3PO2, structure is something like this it has two ph bonds it has two ph bonds so it is having a good amount of reducing characteristic the next question is how do you count the basicity of h3po4 so if we draw the h3po4 structure this is my h3po4 structure it has actually three oh this triplotic Tri protein, right? Tri or tri basic. That means you can say that yeah, it is basic, right? It's tri protein, tri protein acid. The next is what happens when H3PO3 is heated? See, H3PO3 the oxidation number is plus three, right? So it will go for the disproportionation reaction. So you have H3PO3. Why? Because it is in the intermediate range. H3PO3. When you heat, it becomes H3PO4 and PH3. 
This is my phosphine. This is my orthophosphoric acid. So this has oxidation state of plus five. This has actually minus three, and this is plus three. This is how it happens. It uh, undergoes disproportionation reaction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.